hello Aquarius how are you guys welcome back to my channel thanks for tuning in um, those of you that are interested in booking your own personal reading you can email me at claritygoddesstarot at gmail.com if you don't need a full reading maybe just have one or two questions you need insight and clarity on you can do the buy one question get the second question free option okay so yeah go ahead and reach out shoot me an email if you're interested in that you guys know of course though that this here in front of us is a general message which means it may or may not be your situation Okay, so most of you already know that, right? But for those of you that don't, that means that, you know, um, you know, all of you aren't going through the same things. Okay, guys, so just take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. And also the energies are interchangeable. Okay, they can go both ways. So it could be your partner or yourself feeling like this. All right, so over here on the uh, left, we've got some past energy. Although, you know, some of you, this could have been, you know, the distant past. Others of you, maybe more recently, maybe a couple days ago or a couple weeks ago. But we've got the three of wands here. Okay, some of you could have been dealing with a fire sign, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. Um, and this person also could have been at a distance. Maybe you guys live in different cities or different, you know, states or something here. This also could be some sort of online uh, connection for some of you. But this also signifies waiting. Okay, so somebody was waiting to hear from someone or waiting for a visit or to travel somewhere. All right. But we also have the four of wands here, which is about stability. Okay. And it also represents communication peace, harmony, things being in alignment, okay? So even if you guys have some sort of falling out here or, you know, disagreement or whatever, somebody still wanted this for sure, okay? It's very strong um, chemistry here. And we also have the Six of Cups. So some of you, this is someone from your past, okay? Others of you, maybe you have kids here, okay, with this person. That's what the Six of Cups is about as well. But, it, you know, it, again, represents someone being from your past. So maybe you've known them a long time, or it's been a long time since you've heard from them, but this also represents nostalgia, okay? So somebody was definitely missing someone and waiting here to uh, hear from them. Now, we also have the Queen of Cups reversed, all right? So there's definitely emotions involved here for a lot of you, okay? And somebody was in their feelings is what I see with the Queen of Cups reversed there and just really missing this person, okay? Maybe being sad too that um, they hadn't heard from you or that you hadn't heard from them, okay? Somebody was, uh, you know, feeling a little bit lonely here or just very uh, nostalgic, all right? Now, let's come here into the center with what could be happening currently. So, we've got the page of wands. This is about communication too. Desire, passion is very flirtatious energy. So, I think here that this person or you, okay, Aqua, somebody wants to reach out or hear from someone, okay, still, because it's been difficult to walk away from this. We also have the Eight of Cups reversed there, all right? So, this could be also the energy of someone having one foot in, one foot out, okay? So, it's like somebody has, you know, walked away. Some of you, you're not even talking to this person. Maybe you guys don't, you know, communicate anymore, but there's still a pull here, okay? Somebody has not fully detached from this connection, okay? It's been difficult. It's been tough here because at some point, somebody felt very stuck, needing to make a choice here. Could have been stuck between two people or a decision that needed to be made with the two of wands there, and it's reversed, okay? So to me as a reader, I see that, again, as someone being stuck, Okay. There's still hope here for somebody, okay, with the uh, Hierophant there. And the reason why I say hope, because in this particular deck, the Hierophant has the word faith down here at the bottom. So somebody still has faith in this or is still hoping or wishing for this to come back around, all right? Now, of course, the Hierophant also represents marriage and commitment. So some of you, maybe you're married to this person. Maybe you used to be, or maybe they're married. Maybe this is a third party here for some of you. Okay, somebody is married here. But there's still a level of commitment. Somebody is in love with someone else, okay? It's also what I'm seeing. So if you're dealing with someone who's married, this person may actually be really in love with you, okay? But they may have a commitment elsewhere. Or maybe you do, okay, Aqua? But um, let's move on up here to your energy at the top, okay? But again, guys, this is general. So it could be your partner at the top and you at the bottom, so just take it how it fits. But we've got the hangman here. Some of you are dealing with the Pisces. Okay, so the hangman, something stuck. Again, at a pause, at a standstill, there's not a lot of action happening, you know, between you and this person. And um, someone's just at a pause. The situation is on a pause right now. All right, we also have the Ace of Swords here. So this represents um, clarity, <clears throat> excuse me, clarity, communication, insight, you know, seeing things clearly here, or someone's trying to, because we also have the Nine of Swords, which is about 
anxiety, okay? Overthinking, maybe being a little bit stressed. If it's not stress or anxiety, this could just also represent that, you know, you're on this person's mind very heavily or either they're on your mind very heavily, okay? Someone is definitely still thinking about this a lot, all right? Next, we also have the high priestess here reversed. So, um... With the high priestess here, for number one, this represents intuition, okay? Also secrets. So somebody here is keeping a secret or this is a, or this is a uh, secret connection here, okay? This also represents silence though. So some of you, you're keeping this to yourself, okay? The fact that maybe you miss this person or they miss you. Someone's overthinking this and also being uh, kind of quiet here about it. And, um, you know, the high priestess, in the upright, she's someone who's very wise and very intuitive, right? In the reverse, she could be someone who doesn't really uh, trust her intuition or just kind of ignores it. So some of you here, and what I mean by that is that some of you, you know that maybe this person isn't good for you or that they're married or you're married. Somebody here feels like this connection is wrong in a sense, but doesn't care. <laughs> or either just the, the pull or the um, magnetism between the two of you just make it, it makes it still hard to let go of this even if it is wrong okay it's kind of like one of those situations where you know uh if loving you was wrong then i don't want to be right <laughs> okay that type of thing so somebody knows that something is wrong here but still uh is in love here okay quite frankly that's why i see guys especially considering all this energy um from the past now let's move on down here to your partner's energy or either yours all right guys so we've got the king of pentacles reverse yep some of you dealing with an earth sign a virgo a taurus or capricorn this person is stubborn okay again it could be you aqua and selfish okay we also have the four of pentacles matter of fact all of this is uh earth energy here so some of you clearly are dealing with earth energy virgo taurus cappy like i just said but um the situation could also revolve a lot around money or this person is really busy um I don't know, focusing on money or stressing out about money. I'm not sure here, but they're holding back, okay, with the Four of Pentacles, holding back how they actually feel. Um, you know, with the Four of Pentacles, this is someone being kind of guarded and not opening up, but it represents someone holding on tightly to something too, not wanting to let it go. All right, so some of you, this person does not truly want to let you go. There's a sense here where they are, um, you know, again, still holding on tightly to this connection. Now, we also have the Ten of Pentacles as well. This represents long-term commitment. Um, again, could be... Uh, some of you, this situation may not even revolve around love. This could be about money or work, okay? But this person is focused more on um, being practical here, okay? With, the, um, with all this uh, earth energy. But I think that they would like a long-term commitment with you if you guys could just get it together that's what i'm hearing okay if you guys could just get on the same page and get along or either um you know come together somehow or agree on things that they would be willing to have a long-term commitment with you all right now we also have the seven of pentacles reverse they're tired of waiting though there's something here where they're running out of patience and they're tired of waiting they may also feel in a sense that they wasted their time in a way okay or that um the energy and effort that they put into this they didn't get it they didn't get anything in return here all right so that's what i have there okay guys now let's come over here to the potential outcome energy so basically how things could be going within the next couple of days okay so we've got the lovers here some of you are dealing with a gemini this is about breakup energy though okay guys or two people just not coming together okay not being on the same page because there's um somebody here is emotionally unavailable or either emotionally detached here with the, the uh, king of swords reversed this is air energy okay you are an air sign or maybe you're dealing with another air sign another aquarius a libra or a gemini but um somebody here is choosing to uh i don't know just not really express themselves emotionally but somebody's still trapped someone is still feeling stuck here and kind of bound to this situation kind of unable to release themselves from it or is struggling to do so all right with the eight of swords and we have the five of cups here so somebody feels like there's a loss for sure or regretful sorry about something and is really trying to get over this okay because in the upright the five of cups is all about feeling sorry or feeling you know sorry for yourself or down or sad so someone's trying to come out of this energy and get over whatever all of this is okay but it's been hard it's difficult to let go and release this all right guys
So um, I also pulled some oracle messages from spirit. I'm going to go over those really quickly. Okay, so the first one out is from Mary Magdalene. Okay, and her um, she's the goddess of unconditional love. Her message says, love yourself, others in every situation, no matter what the outward appearances may be. Yep. So some of you, it's like this situation, no matter what you guys have been through, there's a sense of unconditional love here. It's like you can't stop loving them or either they can't stop loving you. I, I feel for many of you, this is mutual. Okay. I feel like this is both of you still being pulled towards each other. Okay. We also have Irene and she's the goddess of peace. And her message says, there is no need to worry as everything is working out beautifully. Yeah, because I do see here where somebody's worried or, you know, overthinking here with the uh, Nine of Swords kind of stressed out about this. So, yeah, Spirit is saying you need to focus on your peace, okay, or trying to find some peace within this situation. Some of you, I'm not even going to sugarcoat it for you guys. It, it may be time for you to get over this, okay, and release this, all right, if you're the one that's feeling stuck here. Or if you know that this person is hazardous for you or just not healthy, okay, you know better than I do. So, you know, Spirit is saying that you need to uh, just maybe find some peace or come to terms with that uh the fact that maybe something is is gone now that is done now we also have bridget okay and she's the goddess of not backing down her message says stand up for what you believe is right yeah so <clears throat> excuse me some of you here or this person you know somebody does have their guard up and is holding back and standing their ground with something all right, some of you, you're seeing things very clearly for what they truly are, okay? You may still be thinking about this person, but maybe you're, um, you know, trying to release them. So yeah, some of you, you know, like I said, I got to keep it real. You may need to stand your ground and just kind of like uh, detach from this, okay? Because we do have the King of Swords reversed as well, which is about, you know, someone being emotionally... Uh, you know, um, detached. So next we also have down here, we have passion and it says, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Yep. There's a lot of passion here. I definitely saw that in the past energy and then still here with the, um, you know, the page of uh, wands there and the high priestess too, even though she's reversed, this represents a very strong connection. Okay. On a soul level, on a spiritual level, on a telepathic level. Okay. So there's a lot of passion here between you and this person. We also have honeymoon, okay? And it says, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So somebody, again, may be married here. Maybe someone just got married. Or, um, you know, this could represent some of you or either this person. Uh, you kind of, you know, somebody here wants this uh, situation to where you guys could just kind of go off and be by yourselves, okay? Kind of like how couples do when they first get married and just, you know, spend a lot of time together or be alone and enjoy each other, okay, with that honeymoon energy, um, we also have you deserve love. Okay. And the message says you are lovable. Yeah. So for some of you, if this person hasn't been giving it to you, maybe you need to go get it from somewhere else, plain and simple. Okay. Maybe you need another, um, person in your life, or maybe you need to, you know, leave this person alone or again, detach here and go find somebody else that's going to give you the love that you deserve. Okay. And stop uh, stressing out here about whatever this is. All right, guys. So that's what I have. If this resonated, Feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you would like to book your own personal reading, you can email me at claritygoddesstarot at gmail.com. Wish you guys the best, Aquas. Take care.